Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing an English writing lesson all about abbreviations. So here are some examples of abbreviations. An abbreviation is a shortened version of a word or phrase. So let's look at the meaning. Member of Parliament. So MP is a politician. NATO. This is North Atlantic Treaty Organization. This is a defense organization. App. I'm sure you already know this. App is short for application. It's um, software, often for a mobile phone. This, in fact, means doctor. And this they'd is a contraction of they would. So there are, in fact, four types of abbreviations. Initialism, acronym, shortening and contraction. So let's look at each type in more detail with the writing rules. First of all, initialism. An initialism is formed from the first letters of a group of words. And we pronounce each letter individually separately. So here is a very good example. Um, so the full word or the full phrase is Federal Bureau of Investigation and the abbreviation is FBI. FBI. So notice we pronounce each letter individually and each letter represents the first letter of the full phrase. So this is an initialism. Here are some more examples. So let's look at the meaning or the full phrases. So ASAP, this means as soon as possible. So this means um, quickly or immediately, please send me the letter ASAP. CD is a compact disc, so for music. CEO is Chief Executive Officer, so this is the big boss in a company. FAQ is Frequently Asked Questions. You often see this on a website where they answer um, questions that they regularly receive. Okay. PLC is a public limited company. This is British English and it describes a type of company that is um, quoted on the stock exchange. So you can buy and sell shares. UFO is unidentified flying object. So this means an object in the sky. And we do not know what it is. USA, I'm sure you all know this. This is the United States of America. VAT, again, this is British English and it is value added tax. So this is the sales tax in the United Kingdom, sales tax. Some more rules about initialism. If the first letters of the full form are capital letters, then we always write the abbreviation with capital letters. So, for example, 
this is the full phrase and we always write this with capital first letter because it is the name of an official organization therefore we must write the abbreviation also with capital letters so this is correct but this is wrong we do not write it with small letters for the others both forms are acceptable so it is a style choice so for the full phrases with small letters at the beginning we can choose so compact disc we write this with small letters therefore we can choose so in capital letters this is correct and also in small letters this is correct and it's the same for frequently asked questions full stops or periods as we sometimes call them so this is punctuation in British English we do not usually use full stops for initialisms therefore this is correct in British English and this is not really correct it's not very common in British English to separate the letters with a full stop American English is different in American English um, it is more a question of style so it is possible and using full stops or periods is more common in American English for initialisms so in American English you will see both FBI like this and FBI with full stops or periods both of these are acceptable however in modern English um, often this is it is more common without the full stops okay acronyms an acronym is formed from the first letters of a group of words but the difference is that we pronounce the acronym sorry we pronounce the acronym as a word so we do not pronounce the individual letters here are some examples so listen to the pronunciation we say NASA NATO we don't say we do not say N A S A we do not say N A T O no we say NASA we pronounce the acronym as a word so this means the National Aeronautical and Space Administration North American Treaty Organization I advise you to look in the dictionary to really understand what these organizations are PIN personal identification number and this is um, the code for your credit card or bank card RAM this is random access memory which is computer memory SIM is subscriber identification module this is simply the card for your mobile phone and here is the sales tax again and here we can use it as an acronym so when we use it as an acronym we pronounce it VAT so it's the same it's value added tax and this is the sales tax in the UK zip this is zone improvement plan and this is in fact the postcode in the USA so this is part of the postal address in the USA let's come back 
to this one. Oh, sorry, here is an example. Um, here is some RAM. So this is a photograph of the random access memory. Let's come back to this one. So this sales tax, it, in, it is in fact, um, it can be in fact two types of abbreviation and the pron pronunciation is different for each one. So like here, it can be an acronym and we pronounce it VAT. It can also be an initialism and in that case we pronounce each letter separately. So we can also pronounce this VAT. Okay, so both are possible. Continuing with acronyms, if the first letters of the full form are capital letters, then we always write the acronym with capital letters. So here, the um, full form has capital letters. Therefore, we write the acronym with capital letters. And small letters is wrong. And again, for the others, both forms are acceptable. It is a style choice. So value added tax, we always write this with small letters. Therefore, we can choose. Sometimes we see it with capital letters. Sometimes we see it with small letters. Both are correct. Let's look at full stops and periods. So for acronyms, we do not use full stops after each letter of an acronym. So this first one is correct, but this is wrong, okay? Because an acronym, we do not write full stops. And the reason is simple because remember, we pronounce this as a word. We treat these acronyms as if they were a whole word and we never write full stops in the middle of a word. That is why it is wrong, okay? Shortenings. A shortening is an abbreviation in which the beginning or the end of the word has been dropped. And there are two types of shortenings. Type one, real words. So here are some examples. Ad, app, flu, blog, rhino. Let's look at the meaning or the origin. So we can see that ad is an abbreviation for advertisement and we have dropped the end of the word and advertisement is um, something to promote a product or service. So app is an abbreviation for application so we have dropped this part of the word. This is simply software. Flu is an interesting one. We have dropped the beginning of the word and we have dropped the end of the word. So flu is in the middle and it means an illness. Blog is in fact short for web blog and it is a type of website. And rhino, well, it is a wild animal. And we use type one shortenings like real words. In fact, they have now become real words. They have almost replaced the full form. So these words, in fact, appear in the dictionary. So we write them 
as a real word and we say them as a real word okay so they are words in their own right we do not use a full stop or period after type 1 shortenings I placed an ad in the newspaper this is correct notice that we have not used a full stop here and this is wrong I placed an ad in the newspaper so um, we have written a full stop here but that is wrong the first letter is a capital letter only if the full word starts with a capital letter so Brit this is an abbreviation for the word Britain and this means a British person so this is the full form it is referring to um, a nationality and that is why it has a full um, a capital letter therefore the shortening also starts with a capital letter let's look at the type 2 shortening these are not real words so here are some common examples so this one is an abbreviation for Feb the month of February we have dropped the end of the word this is an abbreviation for Saturday and this is an abbreviation for the words etc and etc is um, a Latin word and it means and the rest type 2 shortenings are only used in writing so we do not say them so when we do say them or when we try to say them we say the full version of the word okay so if we see this if we want to read this we don't say Feb we would say February so in writing we would write or we could write please send me the FEB accounts but we do not say that when we read it we would say please send me the February accounts full stops periods and we have the choice to use full stops at the end of the abbreviation so again this is a style choice so this is correct and this is correct so they are both both versions are acceptable correct capital letters the first letter is a capital letter only if the full word starts with a capital letter so here it is a month so we use a capital letter and we do the same therefore with the abbreviation a day of the week starts with a capital letter therefore the abbreviation starts with a capital letter okay contractions contractions are abbreviations in which we drop letters from the middle of a word from the middle and we do not write a full stop at the end of a contraction the first letter is a capital letter only if the full word starts with a capital letter so this is the same rule every time type 1 missing letters coming from one word so here are some common examples so dr or this abbreviation is the abbreviation for doctor 
so you can see we have dropped letters from the middle of the word. This means government. So we have dropped these letters. This means saint. And this means mister. And the second type of contraction, um, the, this is um, the contracted form of more than one word. And these are very common in English and I'm sure you already know them. So here are a few examples. So we have um, joined together two words. So we have a contracted form from more than one word. The original form has two words, he is, and we have dropped the letter I, and then we have joined these two words together. So they'd is the contracted form of they would. So we have dropped these letters and then we have brought these two words together. And this blue thing here is called an apostrophe. And here we have joined together I and have. So this blue thing is an apostrophe. So we use an apostrophe to represent the missing letters. So we drop some letters in the middle, we join the words together, and we write an apostrophe to represent those dropped letters, those missing letters. And there are many, many contracted um, forms uh, of type two contracted forms. Okay, so that's the end of the lesson. Um, would you like an online English lesson? Perhaps you want to practice your speaking or perhaps you need to prepare for an exam. So if so, then you can click here for the prices. Okay, thanks for watching.